at you balancing so well. Look at her. Just holding her. <laughs> yeah, she's really jiggly. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that smile. I thought I would start doing a reading vlog because I've been meaning to do one for weeks now and then every week I say I'm going to do it and then I don't. So here we are Monday and I'm doing it. So I wanted to share with you what I'm trying to read this week. I think I'm going to have a few options so we'll see what I actually get done. But I'm currently 30% through followers which my friend recommended to me and I'm reading it through my library and it is so interesting. I am so hooked. I don't know what really I can say without spoiling anything because I went into it not really knowing what it was about but it is a dystopian novel set in 2051. It's a little bit eerie because it seems like this could be how our world is in 30 years. So I'm really enjoying it and I hope to finish that within the next day or two because like I said it's super easy to read and I'm just super hooked to it. So Next, I'm going to read, um, hopefully, maybe, I have Tweet Cute also out for my library on my Kindle, and I haven't read like a young adult contemporary in so long, but it sounds like something I'm really in the mood for right now, just something a little more lighthearted and sweet, so I think I'm going to read that, and then also the sequel to A Curse So Dark and Lonely, which is A Heart So Fierce and Broken, is also available on my loan shelf on my Libby app, so I am hoping to maybe start that one I'm not too sure but my book of the month is probably coming in this month I'll share that I'm um, sorry in this week and I'll share what I selected when my box does arrive and I may start one of those books and also this is just there's so many books on my like mental TBR right now Midnight Sun is released tomorrow Tuesday and I ordered it through Amazon Prime so I won't get it until Thursday so I may just do a whole separate reading vlog for my Midnight Sun experience because that just kind of seems like a book that would work really well for that and I'm sure there are going to be so many people doing that as well. Those are my reading plans for this week and just hanging out with my little girl who is turning six months which is crazy because I feel like the last time I vlogged it was probably two months ago. So it's been a while since she's been on camera. So I am going to get to reading followers and I'll check in a bit later. Hey guys, so it's eight o'clock in the evening. I wanted to do a little update because I did get to like the 60% mark in followers and I am still really, really enjoying it. I really don't want to put it down. And so I'm going to continue reading, hopefully for the rest of the evening while I'm awake, but I'm feeling so tired. So who knows how long I'll be awake for, but Nathan just went out to work out and Penny is finally sleeping. So uh, I'm going to try to read a little bit more and yeah, I'm really excited. Like this book was totally underhyped everywhere i haven't heard anything about it on bookstagram or booktube and i'm just so happy my friend told me about it because it is super interesting and like i said before it's kind of creepy in a way that it is so similar to our lives today it's all about um like the internet and social media and they're still alluding to something that happens between 2015 and the future story I'm excited to get back to reading that, so I'm gonna do that, and I'll check in tomorrow. <laughs> Hello. Did you have a good nap? Yeah. It looked pretty good. <laughs> we have her outfit of the day featuring, I think, all hand-me-downs or like thrifted stuff. So, looking like a summer snack. Good morning. Tuesday. Um, I did end up finishing Followers last night, which I really wasn't thinking that I would, but I just couldn't stop reading. I read it till like 11.45, just 
I like I said I couldn't put it down I thought it was super interesting and it kept my attention the whole time it was just such an interesting concept and what made it so good as I said before was just how similar it is to how our world is now and what happens in this book doesn't seem that far off it only had like a three point five on Goodreads. I was really shocked about that because I didn't look at the review before. I just read it based on my friend's recommendation, which is just another point that you don't always <laughs> need to look at the Goodreads review because if I had seen that review rating, I probably wouldn't have read it, but I'm really glad that I did because like I said, I just found it so entertaining and I really couldn't put it down. I haven't stayed up late reading a book in so long. This morning I started on a Tweet Cute, which is so far like it's what I'm looking for it's pretty much at this point kind of reading like a Cinderella story so there's the anonymous chat aspect to it and yeah they don't know who they each are our main character Pepper which I love her name uh, she is a super dedicated student it's her senior year and she is in a very competitive school in New York City and so she's just really trying her best to get great grades and kind of get on with this she doesn't really feel like she fits in at her school she's originally from nashville um so she really had a step up her game when she moved to this very elite private school and the male character jack he kind of doesn't feel like he belongs to the school either he has an identical twin ethan who's the popular one but he jack is not popular at all and he creates this app called weasel which is only for students at their school to join and it's an anonymous chat where they can just talk with this other student that's what i'm going to do and um yeah she just woke up from her nap so we're gonna play a little bit and probably we'll do more reading when she takes another nap in a few hours here so that's my day also i don't know if you're like me but i obsessively track my book of the month and it's in illinois right now so i don't know if it's gonna make it to florida here um by tomorrow which is what i was hoping but oh well hey guys so it is a good bit later i am just cooking dinner now and i thought i would update on how my reading went today i haven't read too much more today besides when she went down for her second nap and it's everything I'm wanting in a book right now, to be honest. It is a mix of Cinderella Story and You've Got Mail, which have very common plot lines, but what makes it also more of a You've Got Mail plot line is the fact that there are these rival um, food establishments that are pitted against each other. Overall, just lots of room for just really fun interactions and fun revelations, and I don't care that it might be predictable because it's a sweet kind of predictable that I really want to read about. I'm just waiting on the rice to cook, and I figured, let's see where Midnight Sun is. Let's check Prime. It's like, what if, you know, it is already on its way. <gasps> it says it's gonna be here tomorrow by nine, which I didn't think it would get here until Thursday. So let's look at all the updates. It's it, oh, it was in Florida uh, 30 minutes ago. So it's really close. So that's so exciting. I mean, I could potentially start it tomorrow night. Two, one. <sighs> <laughs> okay. You ready? <laughs> I'm in bed. I actually am at the 27% mark. Wow, this is not focusing. Um, hopefully I'll get to 50% today, tonight, because are you gonna focus on her? I really want to start Midnight Sun tomorrow whenever it shows up at my doorstep. So if I get to the 50% mark tonight, I'll probably be able to finish it by tomorrow morning. So those are my plans for right now. But honestly, if this reads anything like followers and how into it I was last night, I'll stay up till midnight and just like read as much as I can. So we'll see. Anyway, I'll check in tomorrow. Good morning. We're just hanging out. Um, I'm reading again. I did get to 50% last night, so I'm hoping to finish it this morning or by noon. Um, I don't know when Midnight Sun is going to get here, but I really can't wait for it. And of course, 
I haven't mentioned this yet in this vlog, which I've meant to. Of course, I'm listening to folklore. Like, what are your favorite songs from this? I am definitely a big fan of The One, Exile, Seven, um, what's the other one? Oh, of course, Invisible String. Like, obsessed. But honestly, I love this whole album so much. I've been listening to it nonstop. Just completely obsessed. So, yeah. I'm listening to that. This is my normal routine, listening to folklore and reading. I'm gonna get back to reading. This is just, it's so cute. I can't get over how cute it is, and I'm so glad that I'm reading it because it's just making me, like, so happy. I think it's just because it's such a departure from adult romance. It's so much more innocent, and I really like that about it. Like, I really, I'm really liking it. So, I'm gonna read, hang out with her, and listen to folklore and yeah later hey guys so it's afternoon it's almost one o'clock now and i finished tweet cute and i really liked it like probably giving it like a four and a half star maybe even a five star i would recommend it if you like a cinderella story or you've got mail and you just want something more light-hearted but also at the same time there was a lot of drama in it so there was a lot more than i was expecting honestly and there were a lot of little subplots that really made the story that much better because it wasn't just all about this romance. There's family drama and um, parents' expectations on you and also the two kids in the story, they're in their senior year, so there's college decisions to be made. It was really good. So, so happy I read that. And now I'm just checking the door every few minutes to see if my copy of Midnight Sun is here, which it is not yet. But I thought, I would bake something because, oh, another element Tweet Cute had really going for it was that Pepper is a baker and she runs a baking blog with her sister. And I just love that. I always am going to love that in a book. So I'm going to make some banana chocolate chip muffins. And these are the muffins Reagan is always talking about and making. So I thought I would give them a shot. Like the recipe is pretty simple. It doesn't seem like anything that crazy but i do like bananas and chocolate so i think i like them but fun fact i'm out of eggs so i'm going to make a chia egg which if you're vegan you probably know all about that uh, i've never done it before but i figured it might work i mean this is like an egg substitute so anyways let me set the camera up and we'll get to baking showed up so I'm gonna open it and share what I will be reading this month so I got recursion by Blake Crouch this I've been meaning to read for so long honestly since it came out two years ago or a year ago I forget but uh, I love dark matter and I'm ready to read something else by him and apparently this deals with um, the idea of memory this is also a past selection. This is my add-on. And then my actual book of the month, I didn't select a book of the month. <laughs> I selected one of the past books of the month. So I got Things You Save in a Fire because I've been wanting to read this one also ever since it came out and I just haven't. And I've heard such good things about it and it kind of was the perfect opportunity for me to read it because 
I've been wanting to read it forever, but, and I didn't want any of the book selections for the August Hicks. So anyways, these are the two books I got. I know I didn't pick an actual August selection, but I'm still happy with my books. And let's look at my bookmark. It says, hold that thought. Cute, yay. Book of the month, successful month awaits. I'm actually going to be ending my vlog here. I know it's a little abrupt, but it's for a good reason. I just got it in the mail. This can only be Midnight Sun. So I want to save everything Midnight Sun related for that vlog. So I'm honestly going to stop this vlog and immediately start with the Midnight Sun vlog. So if you're interested in Twilight, Midnight Sun and all that, um, stay tuned. I'll be posting that vlog like as soon as I finish reading the book, which I don't think is going to take me any time at all. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and happy reading.